Hey everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood makerspace librarian Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library here with another science short. And in the theme of the season, we are going to look at glow in the dark objects today. Now mostly when we talk about light, we're talking about things that glow because heat has gone through them. Things that glow because they got really hot, like the sun, or a fire, or lava. Light bulbs that we use mostly have a filament on the inside, and when it gets really hot, it glows. But today, we're going to be talking about a different kind of light. We're going to be talking about the kind of light that happens without heat, luminescent light. We're going to be using a special flashlight, and this is a UV flashlight with LED bulbs, which means this is a type of bulb that glows when electricity is passed through it. No heat needed. And you can see it's kind of going to give us, um, it glows a little purple. And the reason it does that is because it's going to show us things that we can't see with our regular eyes. We're going past the color spectrum, past violet at the end of the color spectrum, to ultraviolet. We're going to start out with something called fluorescence. So we're going to start with fluorescence. And fluorescence happens when there is fluorite. Fluorite is a naturally occurring mineral that causes things to glow in UV light. Lots of things have fluorescence. Some animals, like butterflies or scorpions, glow because of fluorescence. Um, but it's also in highlighter markers, it's in some toothpastes, honey, and we are going to see it in something called tonic water, which glows naturally under UV light. And then we are going to add something called fluorescin to regular water and watch what happens with the fluorescence there. First things first, we have tonic water on the left and regular water on the right. When we pass the UV flashlight over the regular water, it's going to glow purple because of the UV light, but then we'll really see glowing happen when the UV light crosses over the tonic water on the left. Here we go. So what actually makes fluorescence? Why does it glow? Well, everything around us is made up of these teeny tiny little things called atoms. And inside those atoms is something even smaller called electrons. And those electrons all have a certain place that they belong in that atom. And when we shine the UV light on the atoms inside whatever we're looking at, the UV light gives those little teeny tiny electrons an extra jolt of energy, and it sort of fires them up and they leave the place where they're supposed to be inside that atom. But because it's not the place where they're supposed to be, they're sort of precariously balanced in this new position, and they're gonna fall back to their normal place. As they fall back to their normal place, they're releasing the energy that the UV light gave them, and releasing that energy in the form of light. And that's how we get the glow. Okay, so we are going to take a look at a different type of fluorescence. This orange powder is called fluorescin, and we are going to turn off the lights and drop it into our regular water, and you're going to see another type of fluorescent reaction happen. Now one of the things you'll notice with this fluorescence is that when I turn off the UV light, there's no more glowing. The glowing only happens when the light is on. But we are going to look at one more type of fluorescence that's a little different. We're going to turn to phosphorescence next. So if you've ever had those plastic stars that go up on your ceiling, or something that you shine a light on and then it glows afterwards. Sometimes there are things outside that absorb light through the daylight and then glow later. A lot of those have to do with phosphorescence. And the big difference between phosphorescence and fluorescence is 
When the electrons in something fluorescent are quickly falling back into the place they're supposed to be in that atom, it happens pretty quickly. So the minute that the UV light stops shining, they fall back into place and the reaction is done. But with phosphorescence, that chemical reaction takes a little bit longer. So they'll glow for a longer period of time. Let's take a look. So now we have another cup of regular water. And in the vial next to it, I have something called zinc oxide. First things first, I'm gonna shine the UV light on the zinc oxide. And you're gonna see that it glows for just a little bit. Even after I turn that light off, before it goes back to regular. Now I'm gonna turn the lights out. We're gonna pour some of that zinc oxide into the water and let it charge a little bit with this UV light. And it will glow for a little bit even after I turn that light off. And that is our foray into glow-in-the-dark things, learning about fluorescence and phosphorescence. Thanks for following along, and I hope we'll see you back next week for another science short. Thanks, guys.